Mike Tyson turned 38 June 30th. Williams 31 July 13th. All the pre-fight material had Williams at 6'3", but he's actually 6'1 and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former British and British Commonwealth heavyweight champion, introducing Danny Williams. Undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, please welcome the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. Obey my commands. You're good about here? You're good here. Y'all have any questions? Touch them up. There's the bell. We're underway. And Danny Williams goes right in. Mike Tyson fights for a variety of reasons. And land that right hand behind it. And of course, the uppercut. No stranger to fouling, he just used his elbow. Danny Williams has still standing. Look at him, still standing. Three in a row. Dig it in. Left uppercut to the chin after a series of blows in the midsection. Looking to end it. Man of the ring. Dennis Alford to keep the punches up. These are vicious punches by Tyson. Another left hook upstairs. A left uppercut staggers Williams. The way to fight by Tyson. And he's learning that the hard way. Now, he's get out of the first round. Already he has been wobbled. And that could be a huge mistake. Tyson going right to the body. Second we can do it. Tyson really belting to the midsection. Championship fight. He's never been in a fight of this magnitude. And boy, was a very Oh, something happened to Tyson. He may have gotten a low blow, but he is digging in. Excited for low blows in a couple of fights back in England. Tyson digging to the body. Williams in trouble in the early going. Good combinations on the inside and tremendously good left hooks. Another left hook, partially blocked by Williams. That one got through. Then to the belly. Mike, keep him up. Now listen, then. You've got to use your jab. Listen to what I'm telling you. Keep Don't your you hands can. up Straight high, up. keep your chin up. down, and use your jab. OK, Dan? He twisted his left knee at some point during the first round, which is why he grimaced. Remember that? Just like he and Roach have worked on. So he's thinking in that ring, not just throwing wild punches. Question of whether he has heart. <laughs> yep. That part he's answered. It's to the chin. Now back comes Williams with a left-right combination. And that was the uppercut by Williams. His elbows are high. And he's allowed Mike Tyson inside to the body. Now Danny Williams told us he wants to take this fight to the fourth or fifth or sixth round. But the problem is if you take this much punishment. We saw in that last round something that I think is a good sign for Mike Tyson. Bodes well for the future. He countered. You say no because you get countered. And yet that left hook stunned Tyson for a moment. All right. It's giving Mike Tyson a chance to land those shots. Now some head movement by uh, Tyson. Ripping uppercuts to the outside and used the jab. He only threw 11 jabs in round one. By Williams, he's ripping those shots. Pushing Tyson back. It's competitive now. Himself out. There's a good left hook upstairs out of nowhere by Danny Williams. And throwing the jab, tying him up, pushing him back. There's the jab of Williams, and when he throws it, he's able to get that punch. Ha! All right, deep breath, Mike. One more. Good job. Take a rest. Swallow that. Don't land him. Okay. Round three scheduled for ten. Tyson, who had Williams in someone, but Alfred didn't indicate exactly. The referee might be a factor in this fight, and guess what? He is. Successfully. You know, a key element of this is the body work of Williams. He is really Great. making an impact. There's some blood. One point. Late punch. Now, Dennis Alfred is saying it was a non-intentional late punch thrown. Pushes Tyson back. But Williams with a left uppercut to the body. Williams fighting off the ropes. Tyson will hope to take matters into his own hand. Again, 
the body shots by Danny Williams. Point oh, being oh. taken away oh. from Danny Williams for a low blow. Oh, oh. Williams coming back again. Tyson just missing with that overhand right. Oh, a left hook to the neck by Mike Tyson. Some, this is a vicious yeah, overhand right. right. Missing with the left. There's a right hand by Williams. This is warning for using the forearm by Dennis Alfred to Danny after they were broken. The referee never saw. Well, he took a point away for something. And here comes Tyson. Which we had first thought, but weren't sure. So confusion uh, reigns here in round three. Oh, what a left hand that sent Williams ah. off balance. And then Tyson. And around the right eye of, of Mike Tyson. I don't think the blood is going into his eye. As we had a round of sounding shots by Tyson. Now Williams going back to the jab. It just ended on one punch right now. Williams knows it, and he throws combinations. He looks. The, he doesn't look like the same guy when he was out in the chest. And back comes Williams. Tyson in some difficulty here in round four. Williams one for an elbow and one for a low blow. He lost two points in that last round. Tyson pours it on. Oh, look! Okay. He said the fourth round is the later round. That's when I could start to take over. We'll see. He's trying to just end it on one. Big right hand, a straight right by Tyson. It's his conditioning into question. Tyson's pace has slowed. He was not pushing him off. A la Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, and he's having his way. Firing shots. Big right hand by Danny. Oh, my God. Off the ropes and down to the canvas. It's Mike Tyson. We have the time, two minutes, 51 seconds in round number four. Our referee in charge, Dennis Alfred, reaches the count of 10. He's the winner by way of a stunning knockout.